So, files. So I'm going to start off by telling you uh, the types of file storage LibG LibGDX offers and what platforms they're supported on. So, <coughs> we've got ClassPath, uh, and ClassPath files are directly stored in your source folders. So they are located within here, okay, within that folder. <coughs> They're packaged with your jars and are only read-only. Okay, they're read-only, so you can't write to them. You can read from them, but you can't write to them. Uh, they have their purpose, uh, but they should be avoided if possible. I, I personally agree with that completely. Supported on desktop and Android, but not on HTML5 and iOS. Internal files are relative to the working folder on a desktop, uh, so the folder where the jar is located. And on Android, uh, it's relative to the assets folder that we have here. Again, these are read-only because they're packaged within the application on Android, uh, and they are supported on all platforms. Local files are stored relative to the application's, uh, again, working directory on desktops, uh, and on the private, there's, on Android, in the internal storage, there's a private section, uh, and that's supported on desktop, Android, and iOS, not HTML5. External, which is the one I recommend uh, external file parts are relative to the SD card uh, partition on Android uh, and on the home directory of desktops and, uh, and this is supported on desktop, Android and iOS, not HTML5. Uh, one question you might ask actually is what about Android devices that don't have SD cards like the Nexus 5? Uh, well, for those who have owned Nexus devices that are rooted, you'll know that Nexuses actually have uh, an emulate well all Android devices without an SD card slot have an emulated SD card partition so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but the final one is absolute. Uh, absolute file paths need to have the full path specified. Uh, this is not really recommended, it's not exactly portable. Um, but it is supported across everything except HTML5. That's about it. So if you're going to be saving uh, to the external or local storage, you actually need to check them first. You actually, you actually need to check if they're available. Uh, so, <coughs> Boolean is ext free or available. Boolean is loc free. <coughs> and they're literally going to equal is ext free equals gdx dot files dot is external storage available. And uh, is loc free is gdx dot files dot is local storage available. That's literally it. And if they are available, then feel free to go. You know, right. So if is x free, and then just you know do the right. Uh, you know stuff. So what you need to do is you'd actually need to uh, set up a, a file handle object for your file. So I'm gonna have a file handle. Uh. I don't know, um, <coughs> numbers, I'm just going to save numbers to my file, yeah, F I spelled handle wrong, takes a lot of skill to do that, and you just can import that, control shift does the shortcut if you don't know, if you didn't know that already, uh, so numbers is going to equal gdx.files.external, I want to, you know, external, and we're going to call this numbers, and you can have any extension in the world. You can have anything you like, like anything. Like I'm going to have mine dot evh ninety eight because I, I can do that. It, it, you can do that. By the way, this method is, you know, the constructor is run each time a new. Uh, oh shit! What's the word? Ah, there we go. Each time a new instance of this object is made, so we've only. <coughs> So we've only uh, got code to make the instance once new game screen. That's when a new instance is made. Whenever a new game screen is called, all this is called. So the file is made literally on the create method. Hopefully you understood that. So yeah, I just forgot that doesn't actually create the file. It just creates an object for the file. Uh, you actually need to you actually need to write the file first. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go numbers dot write and you've got an array of options here okay you can write uh, I don't know what, what what's this for uh, hmm, which 
we write? What should we write? We can either write bytes, an array of bytes, or we can write a string. And we're going to write an array of bytes. Okay. <coughs> and so we're going to have a new bytes array. Uh, 20. Whoops. 20. Fuck. Uh, 21, 22, 33. Okay. That's array. And this. <coughs> append parameter that means overwrite uh, do you want to overwrite the file uh, sorry do you want to add to the file or do you want to overwrite false is overwrite we're just going to overwrite it every time uh, so we're going to run this now uh, whoops there we go I'm just going to access my home directory and there it is numbers.avh98 your home folder you should know where it is uh, on windows it's in your C okay users your current user, um, yeah, mine's right there. And if I just edit this with Notepad Plus, uh, with uh, an array of bytes, it will look weird. But if it was a string, it would be completely normal. Don't worry. Uh, but this is good because people can't go in here and edit it, you know, to cheat. So that's good. Uh, <coughs> on Mac, I actually have no idea where your home folder is. Uh, uh, try and find somewhere where it says your name. Linux users, you probably know where your home folder is anyway, so, you know. Uh, <laughs> so now that we've made our file, uh, I'm going to read from it, okay? So, whoa, I have no idea what those numbers were anymore. Okay, oh, I've forgotten them. Oh, oh, let's try and read them now. So literally, all I'm going to do is numbers dot <coughs> read bytes. <coughs> in fact, I'm going to make a new byte array to hold this information and then I'm gonna system dot I'm gonna print the first number in the array so array one <coughs> sorry <coughs> zero so now that this file actually exists here when it creates a new object it's like oh okay it's that okay so that, we're gonna set that to the object okay it's cool you know it's not going to overwrite or anything, don't worry. So now if I run this... 20! Hey, there we go. And finally, I'm just going to go through some basic operations. So, numbers dot copy to... Whoops. Copy to... Uh, I'm going to give myself my own EVH98 folder. I'm going to copy it to there. Okay. Run this. And uh, now it's copied to there. Uh, so as you can see, you didn't actually cut and paste it or move it. So here's how you move it. You move to. And there's the same shit. I can't be bothered doing it. And finally, numbers dot delete. Let's run this. Home folder, it's gone. That's it for this tutorial. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you next tutorial. Bye-bye.